Today we have EK's first new water block in four years, the EK Velocity. Like I said, we have the new EK Velocity water block. And we're going to be reviewing this today, and we're going to be comparing it to its predecessor, the very popular EK Supremacy Evo. And so we're going to be taking apart both of these, comparing the jet plates and the fins and everything. And uh, we're going to put them on a 360 millimeter radiator. We're going to do some thermal testing on a uh, Sandy Bridge 6 core CPU, which is the Xeon 1650 I have. And uh, hopefully we can get some data for you for this new, new CPU block. So here we have the velocity block. Um, <clears throat> so first things first, the the new velocity block. Um, they have either Intel uh, mounting, Threadripper mounting, or AM4 mounting options. So they don't come with like a universal bracket. The velocity blocks come in different finishes. This is the um, uh, acetal and copper block. So it's the same as this uh, Supremacy Evo here I have. Um, they come in a really uh, nice nickel finish. And they also come with RGB options that actually look, some of them look quite tasteful I think. And they come with plexi, nickel, um, full nickel, which means the the actual cold plate is nickel as well and the top those ones look really nice and All the options come with either RGB or not RGB And even with all the new finishes or versions however you want us to say the Supremacy Evo has been out a really long time so naturally, the Supremacy Evo has more color options. Um, so if you're going for a certain look, you're probably still better off with the Supremacy Evo. Um, so we have it out of the box. This is the Velocity block. And at first glance, it seems bigger than the Supremacy Evo block. Here they are side by side. This is the Velocity. This is the Supremacy Evo. They look. Well, the velocity definitely looks bigger by a lot. If we actually compare the cold plate though, this is the velocity, this is the Supremacy Evo, and they are almost exactly the same. So other than that, you know, the velocity has the little velocity tag on it right here, and it says velocity. So we're gonna take it apart. We're gonna actually take both of these apart. Um, I, ha I did notice that the velocity, the new block, it looks like the out port is directly over a bunch of fin stack, a bunch of the fin stack, uh, more so than the supremacy block. So that might help with cooling a little bit. But we're gonna take apart both of these and find out exactly. No Loctite. They must have uh, used a certain amount of torque on this to get it so tight. So this is the velocity block here, and as we can see, it's basically the same. You have the water, the, the, well, the cold plate, a gasket, a jet plate to increase pressure. You have the outside frame, so your mounting frame. Uh, on the velocity, you have the, the little plastic thing that says velocity, and you have the top. Now the number one difference that's most immediately noticeable is they've simplified the design of the velocity. So in the Supremacy Evo, they have this plastic piece here. And it, uh, I believe this is like a pressure, increases pressure. And you're supposed to put it right here. 
Well, that's built in to this one, which is the velocity one. So see those side by side. So this is the velocity, this is the supremacy Evo. Now for the more interesting part, the jet plate looks slightly different. So on the supremacy Evo, it's more of a square. Rectangle, rather, that's a rectangle. Squares are different. All right. So here we have the two cold plates side by side. And they look slightly different. Um, so this is the velocity cold plate. This is the Supremacy Evo cold plate. They are exactly the same, or by eyeball exactly the same. It looks like the seal is actually slightly smaller, so the actual part of the cold plate that holds the water when it's going through is a little bit smaller. At least it looks like it. And they actually have channels in here, whereas the Supremacy Evo doesn't really have a channel. Also, it looks like they have slightly more fin space. It's kind of hard to tell, but it definitely looks like they have just a little bit more. So here are the two cold plates side by side. This here, this one here, is the Velocity cold plate. And this one here is the Supremacy cold plate. And it looks like the this one here, the Velocity one, actually holds slightly less liquid in the cold plate and it also looks like they have slightly more fins as well as more micro channels swirling around the cold plate whereas on the supremacy evo it looks more linear the micro channels and there seems to be less of them also here are the two jet plates this is the Supremacy Evo jet plate, and this is the uh, Velocity jet plate. It's gonna take a while for me to get used to saying Velocity instead of Supremacy Evo. And the number one difference is the shape. And the Supremacy Evo plate looks twice as thick or three times as thick. So I went, that's pretty much the difference between the cold plates uh, and the blocks themselves. We're gonna, I'm gonna get the screws back in these. And we're gonna mount them on this here, which is a 360 mil radiator and three Vardar fans. And we're gonna see how each one does. Okay. So those are the benchmark numbers for these two water blocks here. And they were the, within 0.5C of each other. So I'd say they perform within margin of error of each other. So essentially they're identical uh, performance wise. Um, I did notice on idle overclocked, uh, there was a discrepancy with the Supremacy Evo. I did that test like five times. So uh, applied the settings, reset, Loaded into Windows, waited about 10 to 15 minutes, took temperature readings, and every time it was like that. So I don't really know what's going on too much. Um, I mean, I was loading from a profile, same exact settings from everything. Everything was the same as the velocity. So I'm not really sure what happened there. Um, but they perform basically the same, full load. Her performance is essentially identical. Um, now one notable difference I noticed, I was using a, a extended ATX board, which are quite big. Uh, the Velocity has more presence, has more substance, and I'll put a uh, comparison on screen for you for that. And that's completely a uh, subjective aesthetic quality, but I did notice the, the Velocity did seem to have more presence on the motherboard, especially with an extended ATX board. So that's always nice. Now the Supremacy Evo comes in a million different variations and colors. It's been out forever. The Velocity, you know, it just came out. 
Um, there's four main color schemes, basically. So you have the acetal and copper, which is what this is. You have the plexi, which is the see-through. You have the nickel uh, version of this, basically. So your, your cold plate's nickel plated. And you have the full nickel, which I think looks the best out of all of them. So the top is nickel, the bottom is nickel. It just looks really nice and clean. And also, so for every variation, there's a non-RGB version and an RGB version. And the RGB is supposed to work with all the motherboard manufacturers implementation. So your Aura Sync and your whatever else there is. Um, I forget what the other manufacturers call theirs. But, you know, if you like RGB, it's pretty cool. Uh, there's this little ring here. There's a ring going along where it says velocity. I don't know if the camera will catch that. But it basically lights up. It's a whole ring of LED. And on the plexi top, is a little, it's a little bit different because it's plexi, it's see-through. So you actually get the, the light on the whole top of the block, which is kind of cool. But essentially, you're picking these water blocks based on aesthetic preference. Which one do you think looks better? Because at the end of the day, they perform essentially identically. Uh, I do like the velocity's size. It just looks better on a bigger motherboard. But that's, again, my personal opinion. It's all aesthetics. I hope this was a helpful review of a new EK water block. Um, it was the first water block in a few years, so I thought I'd review it. Have a good day.